Hi there, my name is James Heidema. I am a strategic coach and an international trainer. And today we're going to talk about the three core issues that one faces as a manager when you're developing a team member. So what are the three core issues? Well, the three core issues when you are bringing someone on your team and you're developing them and they're growing and they're beginning to become competent, becoming professional, productive and profitable, the three core issues are skills, behaviors, attitudes. So let's talk about each one of those. First, as a manager, it's your responsibility to ensure that your team member receives the training they need, either through you or through other people or through a process within your organization. So can they actually do the job? When we talk about financial advisors, can they go out and approach people and ask for referrals? Can they approach those referrals and invite them into the process? Can they take uh, one of those individuals through the first appointment, the second appointment? Can they close the sale so indeed the customer's needs are met and that the customer purchases the product? Therefore, the uh, salesperson, the financial advisor, is successful and earns some money and you as a manager earn an override. And so skills is in important. How do you determine skills? Well, there's a number of things that you do. Is that you uh, coach them uh, when they're actually doing it. You role play with them in a safe environment so they can practice that skill. Uh, you do training sessions. Uh, you go out and observe when they're on the telephone. You observe when they're in front of the customer. And those are skills you use as a manager. So you need to train, you need to coach, you need to role play, you need to uh, be there when they're actually performing the task so you can see that they're doing the task. So that's the first part of it is do they have the skill to do the job? Next is, are they using that skill in the marketplace? You know, it's, I've met people in my uh, career where they've uh, come into the business and they knew what they should do, but they don't do it. And that's certainly a problem. So you want to make sure that your team members are behaving in the marketplace as you expect, in that they are asking for referrals, they are making phone calls, they are holding appointments, they are closing sales. And so you want to make sure they're actually behaving as they should as professionals. And finally, is their attitude while they're doing this? Do they have an attitude that they're there to make a difference, that they're adding value to the customer, that they're helping the customer improve the quality of their life and give them choices and dignity they need throughout their life? Uh, is their attitude that they feel confident that they can do that, that uh, uh, they're strong enough to do that, that they're prepared to do that, and they're positive while they're doing it? You know, when you're dealing with struggling team members, struggling advisors who are not able to do the job, you need to figure out what's going on. Is it a skills issue? Do they need more training, coaching, role playing? Is it a behavior issue? Is that you need to inspire them and encourage them to get out there and actually take what they know and apply it in the marketplace? Or is it a behavior thing that they uh, don't feel confident, they don't feel they're in the right the business, they don't feel they want to continue, et cetera, et cetera, whatever the issue may be, that's the roadblock that's preventing them for actu from actually using those skills in the marketplace. So uh, it may be a combination. It may be uh, they know the skills, but they're not getting good response in the marketplace. Uh, maybe they're in front of the wrong market, in front of the wrong group of people. Maybe uh, uh, they know intellectually what they should be doing, but they're not very uh, professional when they do it in the marketplace, and that's affecting their behavior. You know, it's not unusual for people to come into the business, struggle, and then lose hope, and then their attitude changes, and they stop the behavior, and they don't use the skills. It's not unusual for people to come into the business and feel very quickly that they, knew all, they know all they need to know, and uh, that again becomes an obstacle uh, because uh, they stop learning and they take uh, what they're using and may maybe they don't know enough or maybe what they know isn't appropriate to the situation and they don't get results and then their behavior changes. So when you're dealing with struggling team members, you have to determine which of these three or may many of these three are the problem. So just as a reminder, the skills is about do they know what to say and what to do in any given situation. 
So you've trained them, you've coached them, you've role played with them. They feel competent. Okay. Next is do they actually take it out to the marketplace? Do they put themselves out there? Do they approach people? Do they phone people? Do they meet with people? So look at their activity. Is their activity telling you that they're actually out there using what they know? And finally is if they're running into problems, it, 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 not unusual, not unexpected, their behavior may change. The, their behavior and may change, they stop doing it and it'll affect their attitude. And their attitude may be, well, I don't know if I can do this or it's too tough or I don't know if I'm up for it. Uh, I don't like this. There's something wrong with the product. There's something wrong with the company, something wrong with my leadership and they're not really looking at their own behaviors. So I hope this is an oversimplification, but if you can begin to identify what your team members are actually struggling with, you know, and ask yourself those questions, do they need more training, coaching, and role playing? Uh, do I need to help them with their activity to get out in the marketplace? Or do I have to deal with an attitudinal problem? Okay, skills, behaviors, attitude. Hope you find this helpful. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe.